Named Scully, pronouns are she, her, they, them. I identify as a transgender female. I knew I was trans since I was eight years old. Plan was keep it hidden. The 717 came out to my mom as gay. She didn't like that. Got up really quick, cussed me out. She punched me in the left shoulder. My mom grabbed the uh, house phone that we have, chucked it, hit the back wall behind me, cracked it. Dial 911 at 10.45 a.m. Sheriff showed up, did nothing. All they told me was, this is a family issue and this is not under our jurisdiction. This was between you and your parents, not us. Let me feel abandoned. No one to help. January 9th, in the morning, I emailed my teacher what was going on. Actually, no, it was actually not an email, it was actually an assignment. Wrote some stuff in there, how it was going to end my life. She took that to the counselor that day, or at, actually at 8 p.m., an emergency social worker showed us in my home. They witnessed me overdosing, cutting myself. He talked to me, explained what happened, was sent to AVC's medical center, the hospital, took into the green room, was there for two days, put into Grand Canyon Mental Hospital in Chino Hills, California, was there for a week. After I came out of the mental hospital, they put me inside. I was with my parents for a couple couple of weeks. January 27th, got put in my first foster home. Some fosters out here don't understand the LGBTQ or trans community or anything in that community in general. They think they know everything, but they don't. The home I was in, my parents brainwashed them to make them hate me, to make me change who I was as a person, but I wasn't going to let them. I became trans, came out at 17 to my mom while I was in foster care. She said, you can't change your birth certificate. You can't change your name. Guess what? I can. And I did. I got the call in February of 2022. My lawyer gave me a call and asked me out of the blue, Hey, you want to change your name? Because we can do that. Let's take it to the court, see how many signatures we can get so we can get a petition. They got 265 signatures. They changed it. I was smiling. This is me. It's going to happen. Things are going to change. And this is the first step. I think it was February 6th. I was at my hearing, and I came back to school on the 7th. And I got my teacher told me that they changed my name in the school. That feeling of being called that name, in attendance, seeing that name on my work, progress reports, felt something. Felt that I would feel better about myself and have that name heard and loud and clear. So how it feels to be supported now? It's awesome. I have a family, not biological, but some People support me. The resources that I have here is Penny Lane. I have the uh, I have the therapy, which has been a great help. I have the LGBTQ services and resources that they have provided for me for the past one year. So it's been great help, and I'm proud to be a part of it. People from the Tay Center, my lawyers, social workers, teachers, counselors, principal at school. You know, we have anti-bullying zones and we have counselors and psychologists and psychiatrists that just want to help out and make sure we're all good. My future goals, my number one goal is become a transgender activist. I want my voice to be heard. I want people to know my story.